I'm Veronica Pedroza in Kuala Lumpur with a reminder of our top stories on Al Jazeera. The United Nations lead investigator for human rights in the Palestinian territory says Israel's assault on Gaza appears to constitute, quote, a war crime of the greatest magnitude. In a report to the UN Human Rights Council, Richard Fork says the people were subjected to, quote, an inhumane form of warfare. Israel's military has ordered a criminal inquiry into soldiers' conduct after allegations that some deliberately killed unarmed civilians. There are new warnings of global financial troubles ahead. The International Monetary Fund says the global economy will shrink by as much as 1.5% this year. Japan's economy is expected to be the hardest hit. It's projected to contract by nearly 6%. More than a million people have protested in France against the government's handling of the economic crisis. A group of several hundred demonstrators clashed with police in Paris, but most protests elsewhere were peaceful. The United States is investigating claims that two American journalists have been arrested in North Korea. Yuna Lee and Laura Ling, who work for U.S. cable station Current TV, were reportedly detained by border guards after recording video of North Korea from the Chinese side of the northern border. An Austrian man who sexually abused his daughter for decades while keeping her captive in his basement has been sentenced to life in a psychiatric prison. Josef Fritzl was convicted of murder, rape, incest and other charges. He's admitted to fathering his daughter's seven children and causing the death of one of the infants by neglect. At least six people are dead after a military plane crashed into a residential area of Ecuador's capital, Quito. Officials say the small aircraft hit a building in the north of the city, killing three military personnel and at least three civilians. Witnesses say there was thick fog in the city at the time of the crash. And the Roman Catholic leader, Pope Benedict, has held an open-air religious service in Cameroon. Up to 60,000 people crowded into a sports stadium in the capital Yaoundé to hear the service. The Pope called Africa a continent of hope and warned his audience not to succumb to materialism. For the latest updates, you can log on to our website. The address is aljazeera.net forward slash English.